All right, what the what the hell's up, guys? How we doing? Welcome back to the podcast. This is episode two hundred and thirty, two hundred forty. Is it two hundred forty? What what episode are we at? Huh? Let me uh, let me just freaking check because I have no idea. Also, this fan is so loud, loudest fan ever. I have a uh, I have a one of you guys snuck in and is like, oh, good job, love, love the podcast. No, I mean the. I need. I mean, like a fan that's blowing wind in my face. If you haven't noticed, guys, we've got some exciting shit. Okay, what the fuck episode is this? Two thirty nine. This is two thirty nine. Um, <laughs> new branding. All right, we got new logo. Bam, it's we got a new intro. Ba boom. We got a new logo. Did I already say that? New logo right there. New podcast artwork. All right? We got everything, dude. Complete rebrand, a revamp. Sticking with the color palette because I fuck with it. Um, but it's, you know, I think it was it was uh, it was time to freshen things up, all right? Uh, you know, th- it, you can't be always using the same shit. I, I loved the old logo. Shout out Brandon who made the old logo. Uh... You know, he's he's the fucking goat. He's a good guy. He's a really talented, and he's also super nice. Um, and I met him in person, and he's a fucking cool dude. And I, but you know, and, and it's sometimes, he's, you know, I feel like it's, there's a part of me where I'm like, I felt like I'm, I'm like, I broke up with him. But like, you know, it's just, <laughs> we needed to, we just want to rejuvenate it, right? We got it playing on the TV right now. I don't know if you can see it in the in the wide, but it's on there. All right. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's fucking, it's sick, dude. Uh, so all the info for the artists involved with the, uh, the, the new artwork will be in the description. So shout out, uh, to the talented artists that, uh, that, that I fucking, that we, uh, that we worked with on this. Um, and I love for some feedback. Um, you can say you hate it, but I'm not changing it because I already, uh, already paid the artists. Okay. And I've already made my mind up. Okay, so get with it, or or fuck off. Okay, tell me what you want, but it's not changing. I love all the feedback, but I fuck you. I'm not listening. All right, la 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 la. That's me. Every time I read my YouTube comments, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I open it up, I scroll, and I go la 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 la. la. Can't hear you. Can't see you. I wish there was a way to do that with your eyes. I guess like closing them. Because if you go la 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 that sort of blo- that sort of like it, it drowns out all the other sounds. So I guess maybe like blinking really fast is the equivalent is that's the eye equivalent of the of the la 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 covering your ears, you know? So if I'm just like blinking a lot, like yeah, not I was trying to just get uh, that'll probably just give me a headache. Um <sighs> But we're back. Okay, back in the studio. It feels good. It's been a while, and I apologize for that, but it's been a l it's been a fucking heavy, hectic couple of weeks okay um i did one sort of check-in bonus episode on the patreon so go check out the patreon if you want that fucking bonus content um but i was in new york for a little bit for the for my billboard in times square it's whatever um and then it was uh we were home for a little bit and then we left again for phoenix and uh, for some shows. Now we're back, back home for a little bit, which is nice. So it feels good to be back in the studio, man. We got some shit to cover. Um, I mean, this will come out on Thursday or Friday. There's a few tickets left, I think, maybe, for the Hamilton show on Saturday, my hometown Hamilton show. Uh, so fucking check out the, grab your tickets for that. It's going to be fun. Hometown. Uh, it'll be a good time. And, you know, I tell you to get tickets to my other shows in Louisville and Appleton, Wisconsin, but they're all fucking sold out, dude. All my shows, all fi- five shows. Sorry, one second. Five shows in Louisville sold out. Uh, I think three out of my five shows in Phoenix are sold out. Not a full cha-ching, but still a cha-ching nonetheless. And then five of my shows in New Apple, Appleton, Wisconsin sold out. 
So thank you to everybody for the, for the support there. I'm excited. The new hour feels good. I feel really good about it. And, uh, you know, it can only get better with time. So it's, we're, at a good, we're at a good start in place. And by the time the tour kicks off, uh, the big tour, which will happen um, before before next year. It'll happen this year. Uh, tour, yeah, before the big tour later this year. Um, it'll be in, it'll be in a good place. And you know what? Let it be known, everyone who's saying yeah, when I'm posting shows, cities come to. Why aren't you coming to Ohio? If I'm saying like I'm coming, I'm doing a show in my hometown in Canada, and someone's like, come on down to Columbus. I'll be there. Okay, I'll be there at some point. I will be back. I will be everywhere. I promise. All right. Um, but what else has been going? That's pretty much it in my personal life. We got a lot of fuck. I got a lot of main channel stuff coming up soon. I'm working on it like crazy. Um, dude, I can't really talk about too much of it, but I also uh, I was in, on a little. Uh, a, I, I booked an act. I booked an acting gig. Okay, I'll say that. I booked an acting gig, a particular acting gig. Uh, I can't really, I, I didn't sign like an NDA or anything. I just, I just hate talking about things before they're like out because it's bitten me in the ass before where I'm like, this is, this is happening. Get a look out for it. And then something falls through and then it never happens. And I'm like, uh, well, now I look like a fucking dork, but I booked an acting gig. I had to send in a self, t- actually it was the thing during my looks maxing video that I put out a couple weeks ago, there was a part in it where I was like, uh, so I had to the, memorize some lines for an audition. And that it was for this, and I got the fucking part, dude. I got it. I fucking nailed it. And it's crazy because I, after I did the self-tape, I had zero confidence whatsoever. I was like, that was the worst audition I've ever done for anything. Because I've done like fucking so many of the countless auditions for things over the years, and nothing ever happens. So I'm like, fuck it. I've like lost all hope. So I was just like, cool, I'll do it. Uh, I had zero confidence in it. And then like the next day I get an email being like, yeah, you fucking killed it. And it's like, what are you talking about? I thought I did terrible. And then talking to the other people on set, that's how it usually is. Cause I was like, I had zero confidence <laughs> in my fucking audition. But, uh, but apparently that's how, that's how, uh, the, the the ones that you have zero confidence in, those are the roles you get, which is super annoying. Um, so yeah, it. I will post about that when I am allowed, or not allowed to. I'll post about it when everybody else posts about it because I, I don't want to be the first guy to be like, check it out. I, I did the, uh, so I did the thing, you know. But it was fun. We just had our last uh, f- uh, filming day yesterday. Um plane from LA got in at 2 a.m. on Sunday my call time was at 3 p.m. on Sunday so that was okay I got to sleep in a little bit and then uh, I was on set from 3 30 p.m. to 3 3 a.m. so like 12 hours pretty much uh so that was fucking a lot so i'm really tired but you know what it's all good we're rocking and rolling dude um that was me last night dude real good sleep (laughs) i was like good night honey (laughs) um but yeah dude thanks for tuning in let's get into this fucking shit Let's get into the crap uh, that we got to talk about this week. Um, I got some bad news, guys. All right? Some bad news. Uh, A familiar face. If you're familiar with my content, if you've watched my videos for a couple of years, you will know of this name and this man. But uh, a certain... uh, A certain Giga Chad. A certain Giga Chad has returned. The the man with the the most the man with the most jawline in the world, Nate Garner, is back. Nate Garner has returned. Unfortunately, so, this is like literally the fucking uh, the Star Wars movie of Os- You know that scene in Os- uh, at, was it Rise of Skywalker or some shit when Oscar Isaac was like somehow Palpatine returned. That's how I feel about Nate Garner. Somehow Nate Garner returned. <laughs> 
We thought we got we fought we thought we fucking killed him, but we didn't. We thought that you murdered him. Um I'll do a quick recap. Oh, a quick Nate Garner recap for those of you who don't who aren't familiar with his uh with his game. Um so well let's go let's go through the videos that I did about Nate Garner. Uh because this is my podcast and I only want to know about shit that I do. Um Okay, Nate Garner Curtis Connor. Okay. So I did two videos about him four years ago, dude. Four years ago, no mustache, short hair. I did a video with Jacob, pre-cancer Jacob too. Damn. Um, we did a video about Nate Garner and uh, his girlfriend doing like these weird couple vlogs. There was one, oh yeah, in the thumbnail when he like, pretended to kidnap her and shit like just like the craziest fucking couple vlog shit you could imagine like i waterboarded my bay Bye-bye-bye. and she's like yeah, stop i can't fucking breathe and he's like that w dab it let me get a one like he goes one breath that i will blow into into my girlfriend's mouth so she can survive the fucking waterboarding i'm doing to her epic um so it was a lot of that and then um, a year later, after that video, he uh, Nate Garner, he sort of went quiet because they went through a breakup, him and his uh, girlfriend. And if you're a couple vlog who breaks up, you're, that's not just a breakup. That's like a business split. That's a business venture that has now failed, right? Um, so you got to decide who's, who gets the fucking office chairs, who gets, who gets the fridge, like all, all that shit, right? Um. You got to divvy up the investments. <laughs> you got to liquidate liquidate your assets. So, I guess he was down. Like he was, uh, he was. You know, he needed some cash. So he he put together a, a like a class, an online course to teach people how to go viral every time. So I put it to the test, and uh, it didn't work. I, I got my friend Maxine to make a new channel and everything. Follow the steps to a T, and it didn't work. She got like twelve views on a video. So, uh, fucking. Um, hey, bada boom, bada, got him. So, and it was been pretty quiet since then. I, I've kept tabs on him, and he's been pretty much just, you know, the, the classic, like, you know, fucking, um, I have a jaw, and I've honed it over the, he's, he looks Max for sure, dude. He's got to be mewing for sure. I can confirm that. Nate Garner is actively mewing, Okay. He's mewing, he's bone smashing, he's doing it all, all right? So, I thought I'd seen the last of Nate, okay? The late, great Nate. And someone tagged me in a video, I thought it was bait. So, for, so to bide some time, I watched John and Kate plus eight. And then when I reopened and saw the video, I realized it was fate. When I saw a man that I hate. Mate. (laughs) That that whole thing was Australian. Okay, that was so fucking stupid. This podcast sucks. God, okay. But Nate Garner has returned, okay? He's He's on TikTok and he's doing... He is doing what failed... Uh, content creators do what they resort to. So let's give it a watch. Let's see what he's doing now. You women nowadays are always telling men that we don't want girlfriends. Great way to start a video. You women. (laughs) You women nowadays are always telling men Uh. that we don't want girlfriends. We want moms. When we ask you to do basic women like things for us. Yo, dude. Okay. So. Okay, so he's th- he's saying he he has beef with people with girls who are like, you don't want a girlfriend, you want a mom because you're asking me to take care of you and shit, which is like bars, facts, because like a girlfriend isn't supposed to fucking like tuck you in and shit, right? 
Uh, thanks for sucking my dick, babe. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Like, what the fuck do you, what do you, well, not like moms do the first part. I was doing a, like a weird, you know, um, like that's silly, right? <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, great. You pack my lunch for tomorrow, right? Like, that's weird, dude. You can fucking take care of yourself, right? And also, it go. you should be doing shit for her, too, right? Do you, doing laundry, doing, you know, the typical what? Are the stereotypical women-like things? What is that? Laundry and cooking? Cleaning, right? You can do those also, you know? <laughs> it's, like, super normal and easy to do that, Right? Also, this dude was fucking, that's the other thing. Nate was, like, bra- bragging about having, like, private jets and shit and, like, going on these, like, la- like these fucking awesome vacations because he makes so much money from YouTube and shit. Why do you need someone to do your, you can hire someone then. Hire someone to fucking do your shit you don't want to do. Right? That's also another weird thing about it. But let's let's keep seeing. Let's 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 fucking keep watching this bullshit. No, we want you to act like women in our mom's generation. Okay. How do you know what women were like back then? Also, like. Dude, I'm like wrapping. I'm like having a really hard time understanding what he means. Let's. I mean, maybe he'll explain himself. You know, the women that raised us, the women that took care of their husbands, cooked for their husbands, loved their family, they don't want to go to work and abandon their kids. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, why do these fucking dudes like slip into this fucking like? conservative like trad wife fucking pipeline shit every time their shit that like isn't popping anymore why why does that happen this type of content creator this is like the fucking uh these are the gym teachers of <laughs> these are the gym teachers of content creation dude you know that saying those who can't oh, it... oh that's from school of rock right when he's like, those who can't do, teach. And like, those who can't teach, teach gym, right? That's, that's what it is. Just fucking, I don't, know, I don't know what else to do. But I do have this kinesiology degree. <laughs> Didn't want to party at the clubs all weekend. But like, that's what he does. Look, that's the fucking thing that pisses me off. It's like, you, these women, they fucking stayed at home. They never left. They were prisoners. They were my prisoners. Okay. They never left. They didn't abandon their family to go work. That's my job. I want to abandon my family to go work, okay? That's what boys do. <laughs> like, how do you not see? And he's so mad. Look at this fucking screenshot right now, dude. Like, if you're talking about, like, romantic partners, you shouldn't have that look in your eye. You shouldn't have bloodlust underneath the surface of what you're saying dude that looks like a that's the last thing you see before you die i think it's nate garner's face and act like they hate men all the time so no we don't want moms we want you to act like wives and unfortunately for us what was that sound effect want moms we want you to act like wives yeah (laughs) is he trying to put me in a trance dude what was that we want you to act like wise. Dun. I just go fucking sleeper cell like the Winter Soldier, dude. <laughs> that was my fucking act. That was my trigger word. <laughs> I must kill Captain America. Dun. What the you fuck know, was that? We want you to also, why do you like- say moms like that? We don't want moms. We don't want moms. <laughs> what the fuck? We don't want moms. It, like, doesn't line up with his mouth, either. This is probably so annoying for the audio, but I need to hear that again. We want you to... So, no, we don't want moms. We don't want moms. Dude. We don't want moms. That was like a demon trying to, uh, trying, to, trying to escape him. That's what just happened. He got possessed. 
We want you to act like wives. And unfortunately, must kill Steve Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck was that sound? I got to I got to track somebody track down that sound effect and send it to me, okay? I that needs to be on my soundboard immediately so I can fucking indoctrinate all of y'all, okay? So I can fucking pro- prop a, propaganda all of you, okay? Fortunately for us men, it seems like the last time that happened was in our mom's generation. You don't How do you know, dude? And okay. And you can assume he's getting absolutely fucking cooked down in the comments. They are making a fucking Nate Garner stew down there, dude. Uh, so let's let's see what the comments are saying. Freud is rolling in his grave right now. Hey, sis, what's the lip gloss you're wearing? Julia Fox, dude. Whoa. I didn't fucking talk to you, Siri. Um, okay, so you want your mommy. Sounds like he's grumpy and he's going out for his nap. Drop the makeup to her. Oli- oh, I thought that was Olivia Rodrigo. Never mind. Um, are men going to start acting like the men of our father's generation? Because my dad could build us a home and pay all of our bills. That's right there, dude. Sorry. That works. Um, Because I know Nate can't do that. I know Nate can't build a home. Can't even build a successful vlogging channel. Or a successful uh, online course. Dude, it's so fucking crazy, man. But he's got he's got another one. Let's take a look. Let's see what else he's fucking uh he's spewing out of his fucking ass. Is this the same one? No, it's different. You girls need to go back in the kitchen. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Solid start, Nate. You girls need to go back in the kitchen. But seriously, what? <laughs> but seriously. What do I see on the internet from women all the time that cooking is some oppressive thing? Who that- fucking who has said that? Show me one woman who has said that. I fuck it. I've never seen that ever. And I'm like, I feel like I'm pretty. Uh, my algorithm is pretty left leaning too. So I feel like I would have seen that shit if someone was ever saying it. No one says cooking is oppressive, dude. It's awesome. That women shouldn't know how to cook. Who told you this? Who told you that cooking for somebody, especially a guy, was uh, some oppressive thing nowadays? Like, why is he... He's getting mad at nothing. Like, you... you, That's the common conservative thing where they make up a scenario that does not exist and then they fucking freak out about it. So the M&Ms are gay now. What am I supposed to do? You want me to suck the yellow M&M's cock? Because I will. Show it to me. Show me the yellow M&M's cock, and I'll suck it dry. Okay? I will slurp the milk out of that milk chocolate. All right? I will drain that nut out of the peanut M&M. That was my uh, Hunter Carlson impression. That's his name, right? I don't fucking know. Cooking is like one of the most beautiful things you could do for somebody. Your mom used to cook for you. Your- uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, your mom used to do it, and my mom used to do it, and I want to date her. <laughs> Nate. Your dad cooks you sometimes, right? How do you survive on this earth? You got to eat. How do you eat? You have to cook the food. You're literally the person, when you decide to cook, providing life for somebody. When I have a girl sleep over, if I'm really into her and she sleeps over, the first thing I do for her is I make her breakfast in bed. Because I want to show how appreciative I am that she stayed. I want her to be comfortable and show and that I'm... I don't want to trap her here. I don't want her to leave for food. I want her to, to keep her locked in the room. And she can never leave because I have to abandon the household. You stay. 
Okay, you stay here. You can't move. We're going to do our waterboarding video later. <laughs> into her. I cook for her. The only girls I ever dated are girls interested in cooking for me because it's a constant reminder of saying like, I love you. You know how you girls want men to reconfirm to you all the time? Say you love me. Say I look good today. Say I'm beautiful. Women constantly need compliments to know that men still love them. Do you want to know a way? Yeah, that that's I the only way you can let a woman know that you still love them. Uh, you just have to tell them. You don't have to do anything. You can just sort of sit on your ass all day uh, and play Fortnite and order Taco Bell all day, like literally all day. And you don't have to get a job. You don't have to clean the house. You don't have to cook or anything. You don't have to like get the gifts or like flowers, nothing. You can sit on your ass, play Fortnite, jerk off. And as long as you just tell your partner that you love them all the time, you give them compliments, then they're going to be fine. Then it's totally cool. That's all you need to do. So, oh, this would be a good sound effect for the soundboard. I got to add that, dude. If I say something like that, and then I go with the, hit him with that. Okay. So I need this sound effect, and then I need the fucking dong, the sleeper cell uh, one. Okay, let's see what else he has to fucking say. Let's see what else this genius has to yap about. That I always know that my girlfriends were in love with me. They cooked for me that night. What do you want to eat tonight, baby? I'll make it for you. Oh, she does. Oh, still yeah, dude. You guys, I fucking forgot about this. The Nate Garner fucking another saga. After I did my video about his online course, a video came out about him. They never named him, but everybody found out it was him at like a party or something. And he was screaming at someone. I think he was screaming at his girlfriend at the time. Fuck it, I can't find it. Um, okay, sorry, I just like went a fucking deep dive trying to find this fucking thing, but I cannot, I can't find the video anywhere, but I swear to God, if I do find it between now and then, I'll send it and we can, Sabrina can throw it in, but there is, there was a video of Nate at like a fucking like, people knew it was him and he was like yelling in the background. He was like, fucking, ugh, God, I wish I could fucking find it, man. Hi, this is video editor Sabrina. Sorry for the jump scare, but Curtis finally found the video and sent it to me. This is a headphone warning. I live in this space, you fuck! No, fuck I'm you. not just talking you. to your bullshit you. little cheerleader world. And I want to fuck all your bullshit little yeah, cheerleader I, I friends. I'm ashamed you're miserable. You're so miserable? fucking miserable. You, you fucking so complain about not being a TikToker. So you complain about your friends I'm being so TikToker. Happy. You're jealous I'm of your friends. Free. Your friends will get you. He must have wiped that shit somehow, but let's finish this video like me oh that's so beautiful she wants to feed me it isn't an oppressive thing all you women out there claiming cooking is oppressive you're just projecting because you don't know how to cook it's so crazy because like he's projecting not no one has said this no one has fucking said this if you want someone the reason he wants someone to cook for him so bad because he doesn't know how to fucking cook don't let him cook now and you know you should know how to cook and you're yelling at everybody it sucks because you don't want to learn how to cook cooking is one of the most beautiful things you could do how do you expect to feed your children you know what else is one of the most beautiful things in the world and this is going to be ironic because i am currently talking to a microphone but um being quiet shutting up that's one of the most beautiful things a per i think a person can do is to just not talk but i'm kind of doing the opposite of that so i apologize but just fucking shut up man mcdonald's you're gonna have to learn how to cook ladies i would stop yelling on the internet that cooking is some oppressive thing that men well oh it's horrible he's no one's yelling he is he's the one yelling about this dude yeah are you gonna starve stop your yelling about this hey friend you're gonna what are you gonna do go fucking crazy gonna start foaming at the mouth like me of your husband you're gonna starve your kids you're just gonna make them do it all like hey six-year-old learn how to microwave a hot pocket because i'm not cooking <laughs> and it's funny that all the girls that are wifed up all the girls on the internet that you all girls wish you were they're all cooking for their boyfriends and all how the come whenever he says wife or like marriage it's like Bum. i'm so confused by that twerking pocket because i'm not cooking <laughs> you you're right you're not cooking right now, bro. Bitch. And it's funny that all the girls that are wifed up, all the girls on the internet that you all girls wish you were, they're all cooking for their boyfriends. And all the girls twerking in the clubs in Miami who are all single, 
They're like, yeah, I don't even know how to make soup. Huh. Huh. I wonder why. Nice. Some slut shaming. Gotta love some slut shaming from the man who put literal, like, asses and boobs in his YouTube thumbnails for children to watch for years. <laughs> Good job, Nate. Good job. You know, profiting off of the objectification of women is totally cool. But, uh, you know, might as well make fun of them while you do it. Uh, mm, cool. Dude's got fucking one brain cell and it's all, and it's going and it's stored in his chin, dude. He's got no brain. His brain, he has the weird, he has the upside down skull. He has that weird, that rare birth defect when all your brain is in your fucking jaw. So you have no fucking actual thoughts in your head. And you go, the girls in clubs are dumb, but then my thumbnail is okay. Cause I make money from them. I, it, it, please leave in my house. Never leave. Fucking psychopath, dude. Such a clown, bro. What are the cl- comments saying? Is that lip filler? If my husband starves because I don't cook, what does that say about him? Yeah, exactly. Go out and hunt, dude. You want to go back to traditional times? Go out and fucking hunt. Go kill a deer, bring it home. Okay? You're not doing that shit. If you have a ring light, you shouldn't be fucking. If you're a man with a ring light, don't 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 start preaching about fucking their traditional roles in the household, dude. Because it's never the other side. They the dudes never want to be like, yeah, I'll get an office job with a nice four hundred one k, work f- like fucking a, cra- a shit job to support my family. They the dudes who want like this traditional shit, they never do that. They're just like, you, you have to stay home, but I can just fucking chill and moss and hang out and talk about podcasts. And, uh, well, I, you know, I do that, but, um, but I, you know, uh, <laughs> bro, what are you talking about? Yeah. If cooking is so beautiful, do you cook for it? Drop the makeup tutorial. That's so funny. Um, fucking loser, dude. I fucking, I wish I could, I could have found, I could find that video, dude. It's really annoying because every time I search up Nate or like Nate yelling, like all the stuff from Euphoria pops up, which is uh, super frustrating. But I fucking know I talked about it on the podcast, though. I know what I fucking know. Whatever. Uh, okay, we'll move on. What are we at right now? 37, dude. 37. Last year's 36. Wait, some of them were bigger last year. Oh, my God. Um, Should we hop into the fucking... Uh, we'll do the advice segment, but really quick. Um, I got to say, this episode is sponsored by no 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 company okay no it's no it's me okay i sponsored it the fucking po- the my comedy special keep busy this is this episode is sponsored by keep busy okay how about that i can do that that's the thing i can do all right uh if you don't know my comedy special keep busy is now available on my patreon you don't even have to be a member to watch my special and stream it whenever you want as many times as you want when we first released it um we were using a platform you could only like rent it but now you can fucking watch it and and it's a one-time purchase thing you can watch it whenever you want okay um we worked really hard on the special i'm proud of it uh, i'm really excited and um yeah if you haven't watched it yet head, click on the description down below uh check out the special it's it's pretty fun and uh it's a nice it's a nice, um, I actually got a review. Someone sent me a DM. It was a review of the special. And I'll, I'll read it for you. Because it was a really good review. It summed it up pretty well. Um, this person said, I earn eight pounds an hour. Or I spent, earn eight, I don't know. I earn eight dollars an hour and just spent an hour of my work on your comedy special. Best eight dollars ever spent worth every little penny. So there you go, dude. 
Go check it out if you want. If not, thank you anyway. But okay. Um, also, dude, got new merch coming out soon. I'm wearing it right now. A little, little teaser. Pretty cool. There's this and another one coming out. And we got the the Silly T, um, which is like our fucking best-selling design ever was the Silly T. And we're coming out with a crew neck version. So be on the lookout for that shit. Um, okay. We're going to do the advice segment right now. We're going to move on to advice. Okay. How about that? So let me just go to the advice button. Um, uh, we're going to do some advice. Uh, uh, Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. Again, shout out Dylan. Cozar for that one. That theme song. Um, okay. Uh, if you guys missed it a couple weeks ago, I uh, I did a, a sort of... Uh, I did like a press conference, if you will. A little press conference of um, of to you guys. It was you know sort of a revamp of the advice segment because I don't want no more serious stuff. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done reading that stuff. I don't want to be responsible for large, important decisions in your life. And at the end of the day, this is the comedy podcast. I want to goof around. I want to be silly. I want to get fucking nuts. I want to go crazy. I want to get bonkers up here. Okay. So I don't need the friggin I'm in high school. What do I do? I don't know. I'll never know. But like, if you got a crazy, advice or crazy predicament i want to hear that shit and we've been the inbox has been looking a lot better the last few weeks so um it's, it's good we got um this one's really good uh, again completely random name from a random place this is uh filmo filmo from the massachusetts quarter got kind of a weird question and i was wondering if you could help me out i'm a female freshman in college I like to read not safe for work manga to get my rocks off. Uh, manga, that's like a okay, like an anime comic. Okay, just making sure. Um, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Lately, my boyfriend has been trying to read with me, and for some reason, it's a big turnoff. <laughs> I feel terrible because whenever I tell him not to read with me, it makes him really upset, but I just don't like it. Do you have any suggestions on how to handle this? Okay. So, that's really funny. So, so you, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to kink shame or anything, but so you, being the weirdo you are. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so you okay? So you like reading not safe for work manga? So porn comics? You you're into that? Um, respect. You know that's that. That's that. That's that. Uh, that's that vintage stuff. That's that's the. That's the way our forefathers jerked off. Was with not safe for work manga, dude. <laughs> I mean, I guess any manga is not safe for work if you're jerking off to it, right? If you're at work. It's automatic. It could be like uh, any comic, really. It could be a fucking Spider-Man comic. You're whacking it to it at work. That's pretty not safe for work. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think... I, I just don't get, like, why would it? Why would that be a big turnoff for you for your boyfriend who's, like, trying to be like, hey, yeah, I could give this, I could give this a, tr- a try. Let me read too, right? Let me let me let me get in on this, right? Like, what do you you're are you upset that he doesn't look like the 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 guys in the manga, right? He doesn't have like anime eyes, right? He can't, you know, he doesn't, uh, you know, he he reads from left to right, but you got you know, you want him to read right to left, right? That's because mangas are backwards, right? You read it from right to left, right? Yeah, so you hit, maybe that's, <laughs> never mind. I was going to make a wiener joke, but I'm not going to. But you, I think you guys can get what I was going to say, you know, of things pointing a certain direction. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, but I don't, 
yeah, I'd be upset too if, you know. But at the same time, you know, you got you to gotta respect your, your, your girl's wishes if she doesn't want you barging in on her not safe for work manga time. Um, do you have any suggestions on how to handle this? Maybe just like give him some of his own manga to read because he seems like he's down for it, right? But maybe you don't like him reading it with you. So maybe you can have um, a, a, a certain time you know, maybe you could pick a day of the week, and it's and it's and it's dirty manga time. You know, and you all go, you go to your separate rooms, you read your fucking your mangas, and you get, you know, you you know, you do what you got to do, and then you come back and you have a book club. You have a book club. You have a horny book club every week, and you can meet about it. Would that be okay? I think that'd be fine. I like the one part where the boobs were there, and the wiener was also there. Yeah, that was a good part too. I liked it when the butthole was there. Um, yeah, I think that I did. Yeah, that part was good. I missed. I think I skipped that page, but uh, the, the pages were stuck together, so was, I think I might. Have, <laughs> I think I might have skipped that one. I think I might have missed that one. Um, so I hope that helps. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the question. I really, I appreciate it. That was a good one, and I hope that helps. Uh, next up is um. Okay, this one is from Thwart, a person named Thwart, and they are from Nova Scotia. And they say, I am an equestrian eventer. Siri, I wasn't fucking talking to you. Go away. Siri, no. 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 I don't know what that means. It's fucking smart ass. Okay. I am an equestrian eventer. Uh, So in brackets, it says horse jump over thing very fast sport. Okay. And I'm having some problems with my horse. He is just a vessel of pony anxiety. Uh, He does love to jump around, but he is somewhat of an empath. And if I'm unsure, he is unsure as well. Okay. His pony brain cannot handle it. He poops his pants both metaphorically and literally. Obviously, I've consulted trainers, but I think I need an outside perspective. What do you think would help soothe him? Okay. If I had to soothe a pony. So if I just had like a pony in my house that was, it doesn't seem like he's violent, right? He's just sort of just nervous. Which is really funny for like a huge, majestic, beautiful creature to be, right? Like how can something that, that free and that, uh, that strong and capable, how can you be nervous, right? That sort of, that sort of puts it in perspective, you know? We're all human, or, and horse also, we're horse also. Um... (laughs) I think I would, I mean, number one, carrot. Number one, carrot. If you want to soothe a horse, number one, carrot. Give it a carrot. Um, I assume you've tried that already. (laughs) But I've played a lot of Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and hell, uh, Majora's Mask as well. And, you know, when you get on Epona, there's the fucking carrot symbols and it's like the stamina of the horse so I assume you would need more carrot but if if you've already explored that avenue I think the next option would be to maybe uh, carrot juice maybe that's maybe make it easier to digest put carrot juice in an eyedropper fucking squirt it in there uh, maybe make a Make make like a hat out of carrots. I only I only the thing I really know about horses is that they fuck with carrots. So I don't really um I mean this might be a little unethical, but smoke that thing out, dude. Get that horse high as hell. All right? That high horse. Get off your high horse <laughs> is what is what everyone will be saying after you've calmed that horse down from all the weed you gave it. Give that horse a bong. You know that book? 
when you give a horse a bong. <laughs> so there's a there's a little option for you. Get that horse high as hell, dude. All right. Gallop it over to a dispensary. Get it all fucking baked. And that's a chill-ass horse. That's a chill-ass horse, my man. Um, so there goes another tip for you. We'll do one more. We'll do one more advice, and we'll wrap this this episode up. But we're going to keep it going on the bonus episode right after this. So um, if you want more content, if you want more Very Really Good, uh, head on over to the Patreon, man. Uh, this one is pretty gnarly. Uh, advice, please. This one is from... Ed, Eddie, this is from Eddie, and they are from Dublin. Quick question. My, no. Okay, quick question. My girlfriend is a twin. Okay, twin. My girlfriend is a twin, and people keep asking me if I want to sleep with her twin sister. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Um, I do not want that. Like, I get the humor, I guess, but why is this a repeat question? I'm getting tired of just rolling my eyes. Any creative response I could use instead? Whoa. Um, damn, dude. I think uh, that's fucking crazy. What a wild question to ask. Because um, I also understand, because, like, you you know, you're physically attracted to the one, so you might as well. I, I think just, like, scientifically, you would be attracted to the other person, right? Just objectively, because they look exactly the same. But no, I've known a lot of twins. They're, you know, people, it's very, you could, the twins are different. They're very, di- you might get along with one twin. You might not fuck with the other twin that much, right? Um, but, huh, that is, there is no really like normal response to that. But a creative response, like if someone was like, okay. Okay, so someone is like, okay, I'm just painting the picture. If someone's like, oh, so you're dating a twin, does that mean you want to have sex with her sister? And maybe you could be like, no, I want to have sex with your sister, bitch. Fuck you. And then you give them a little shove. One-handed shove in the chest, a little, uh, and they go, whoa. And that'll, that'll, that'll teach them, right? Because it's like, uh, that's not true, actually. Because I was like, if I see another dog that looks exactly like Kiwi, do I, do I want that dog? And it's like, I'm low-key. When I see a dog that looks exactly like Kiwi, I'm like, I should just take that dog home. And give Kiwi a little, uh, like a, a, a friend, you know? So that's not a good comparison. Um, You know, maybe it's the same, like, if you, you know, you're driving a car, not to equate... Sorry, I don't want to equate a, a, a fully functioning person um, to a car, but for the comparison's sake, you know, this could be a witty response. If someone's like, oh, do you, does that mean you want to have sex with her twin sister? You could be like, well, if I, if I see a car that is the exactly the same car as my car, does that mean I want to fuck the other car? No, I just, I only want to fuck my car. So... That's something you could say that will own them. Uh, they'll own the libs. But I feel like a good slap in the head. That might be honestly the best response. Not even like no words can really do it justice. You got to do the fucking, what was that V8 commercial? When it was like, dunk, shit out of V8. That's what you should have said. But don't say anything. You just go, dunk. Uh, and then I'll get, and they'll get the picture, dude. Um, All right, thank you, everybody, for a great advice segment. What is this? Why does that a thing for applause? That, like, weird, like, side double thing, right? It just looks like you're, like, jerking off two wieners beside your head. Twin twin wieners. (laughs) Okay. Oh, bada boom. Okay, thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. Glad to be back in the studio. This was a fun one. I had a lot of fun. And um, we're going to keep this fun time going over on patreon.com slash very, really good. So come on over, support. We get crazy over there. Uh, and um, 
yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, um, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking and listening and everything. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.